There's an Imperial airfield nearby, and they've got nothing better to do than patrol. The Empire came in 13 years ago and liberated the airbase Alkenzi, 50 clicks west of here. They quickly discovered the unique storage possibilities of the caverns, claimed the land for the Emperor, and dammed up Nuffs McLean. They'll be on you in minutes. Nine minutes. <laughs> We've timed it. Mm. OK. You'll be lucky to make the horizon. They won't know where we came from, and if we can beat the clock, we'll be gone before they even know what happened. Hello, and welcome to uh, Building Aldani, or this week, Building Alkenzi, um, Part 1. I have not quite finished Alkenzi. Um, it's quite the big project, um, but I figured that we'd go through what I've already got done, um, as well as some other updates. Um, so, we'll start off with, um, the uh, sort of big investment, I, I guess not super big compared to the prices of some other parts, but, um, basically, for this mock, I wanted to really invest in the stability of the mock, um, and so I went out and I bought um, 50 of, let's see if we can't get focus, um, 50 of those, uh, they're like frame pieces, so you can kind of, kind of see it there, um, yeah, there you go, um, so I bought 50 of those, and a whole bunch of Technic pins uh, to go in them. Uh, if I measured right, I should be using um, 48 of them uh, across the whole uh, Aldani mock. Um, however, uh, so this Alkenzi is going to be, or well, is um, a if we're measuring by those um, bricks, plates, not sure. Uh, we'll call them base uh, pieces. Um, if we're measuring by those, um, Alkenzi is four uh, by three. And I think that's about as big as I want to go with any of the sections. Um, and so that way It'll be a bit easier to transport and also more reliable on the uh, bottom side. Because last year, um, the Sand Green Sanctuary, I keep saying last year, technically not really last year because um, the year isn't over yet, but um, the Sand Green Sanctuary traveled fine for the most part. Um, however, Naboo was quite difficult because I didn't realize when building the water that that was not really built on a super stable foundation and so it meant that you had to hold it uh, you had to grab Naboo from like the back corners um, kind of and so there was like a huge portion basically the water that went all around it that you couldn't really grab it from uh, because it wasn't super stable um, and so went ahead and uh, tried to fix that for this mock so as you can see um, I've updated and uh, upgraded some of the parts on the Imperial shuttle um, I the smallest one is I decided to add a uh, dark 
uh, or not dark, a light bluish gray um, dish underneath the white dish there um, on that underside. And that way it's a lot more smooth. Um, and also I think it looks good. Um, and then the ramp I was able to, um, by sort of parting the back end, um, able to get it to come down um, from further back on the ship. Um, and so I think it looks a lot better. Um, right now I do have the landing gear um, just sort of on top of a couple bricks because um, I need to raise that up a bit. Um, you can kind of see from this angle um, I've got a dark trooper standing right there um, under the front of the ship. Um, and so that's about the height that it needs to be. Um, and so I need to adjust the landing gear. Um, but then if we go ahead and we'll move to the back. So taking a look here um, from the back, you can see that I changed up the rear um, engine design. I decided to use some of these uh, satin trans light blue. Uh, they're like curved windscreen pieces. Um, and so I put those in there. And I think that actually looks pretty good. It does bow out a little bit. Um, but I'm not too worried about that. I think it just, it looks better, um, than just your regular tiles. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I guess Alkenzie itself. Um, so the base, um, already showed you, but you know, the, the old parable, right? The wise man built his mock upon a base of flesh. And so, uh, you know, we've got the flesh down there, um, and then, um, surrounding it, we've got a, um, black frame, um, which that's something that I think I'm going to need to buy, um, more pieces of, um, so far I've just taken from the Sand Green Sanctuary, but, uh, soon, or for the next section I'll have to take from Naboo, and then... We'll see where we get from there. Um, but I've labeled this side. Um, and so you can see that right there. Um, just simple Alkenzi Air Base. Um, um, from there to there. Um, it should be centered all along the mock. Um, and then I've got a couple more that I plan on using. Um, so this one will probably end up getting split between two sections. Um, but so that'll be on the front side of the mock, um, the Eye of Aldani, because uh, obviously I think that will end up being the most prominent feature of the mock. Um, and then on the other side, just because it felt like it would be um, a little empty, I guess, if we had a label on one side and then on the front, but not on the other side. Um, so on the other side, we'll just put the garrison. Um, it's not like really in depth as a name, uh, but... It was an even amount of uh, letters, including the space, um, and so that made it makes it easier to be able to center um, when building the frame. Um, so yeah, so let's talk about the base. Um, um, to do that, I am actually gonna um, I'll go ahead and move the. Uh, shuttle here. Just move that off to the side for right now. Um, and that's another, um, the shuttle I need to 
account for with the landing gear is that right now it's only hooked in um, by one stud um, so probably want to change that to a Technic pin something similar to uh, these Technic pins um, but the floor of Alkenzie is all black sort of like the Death Star um, or the Death Star's landing bay and so um, it's got white stripes and so I tried to tried to use those um, in sort of making a path um, or several paths um, to try and break up the look of um, Alkenzie um, and then uh, you can see here the landing area for the um, Imperial Starship or the Imperial Shuttle um, and I've, right now I don't have any in white I got a bunch in light gray or like bluish gray um, and also a bunch in black from uh, brick slopes um, but I'll need to order some in white um, but they really helped me accomplish that um, sort of octagonal design um, and then I used a couple of uh, the 4x4 that are mostly tile but they've got the one strip of studs um, and so I decided to put some trans red on top of there just sort of as indicator lights um, in the show um, we do see the shuttle is more more at this angle which I could put it there um, however I think just for displayability for the mock um, it works better facing that angle um, as well as I plan on um, where I've put these Technic pins um, I plan on making um, some pillars um, and they'll have sort of the the Imperial like wall light design in them so sort of that same uh, design but all brick built um, and so the more I've thought about it the more I've realized that El Kendi uh, is going to have an open roof um, that way a more light will get in um, but also I don't plan on putting any lights inside of El Kenzie. and so um, having an open roof to let in more light just makes sense um, so we'll have it framed at the top um, just using some like gray bricks and stuff um, and so we'll need pillars to hold up the frame um, as well as obviously I'm not building a back wall um, but in the show on the back wall um, those pillars are kind of the unique feature that stands out and so I want to incorporate those in some way um, that wall back there is in no way final um right now it's just all the masonry bricks that i got from uh brick slopes um or all the light bluish gray ones um and so you know it's not it's not perfect um right now it's just sort of a meant to be a representation of where the wall goes um um, sort of how that will look um, let's go ahead and take a over-the-top view or close to that so looking here looking from above um, you can see the different paths uh, that I tried to make um, you can see I've got some stormtroopers sort of lined up um, and we've got our pilot there. Um, right now I believe I'm using a final order officer. Um, but that will be changed. I just didn't have 
the newer Imperial shuttle pilot on hand. Got a couple um, sets of protocol and astromech units, one there and then one over there. Um, I've got this little uh, transport cart, um, which right now I've got a scout trooper on it, um, which I mainly have just because I ran into a good deal. Um, and so uh, one of our local stores, um, they had, um, if you can see it there, um, they had, I got two of the, um, dark trooper, uh, sort of hallway scenes, um, for 1288 each. And then for the same price, they had, um, 13 of the, uh, juniors, uh, ATST. And so I bought all of those. Um, and so you can see there, um, sort of the figure hall, I guess. Um, I plan on using the parts just as parts pretty much. Um, but like the, the ATST driver from that has the new, uh, molded helmet or the helmet with the molded goggles. Um, so that will be incredibly useful. Um, um, so I'll plan on using those for the Imperial army soldiers. Um, I also, I really like the new scout trooper design. That helmet is just it's excellent. I love it. Um, real shame about the stormtroopers. Um, really wish that at this point Lego would just go back to the um, like 2016 era, like Rogue One era uh, stormtroopers. Those are what I'm using in my mock, um, which they'll only really show up at Elkenzi because that's the only place we see them on Aldani. Um, but they just, they look so much better than the new ones. I, I really, cause like, I don't know, I guess it works for like comical, but at the same time, it's like, well, I don't know. It just, it looks really ugly to me. Um, and I don't get why, cause they messed up on the X-Wing pilot helmets. And they canceled those immediately. Those only came in one set. And they were like, okay, we're going back to printing. Which, I think those they could have made work. Because the Resistance X-Wing pilots, their helmets look good. But but anyways, rant over. Um, let's get back to the mock. Uh, so, basically, um, you can see here. I need to build that wall up, but you might be wondering um, what these white panels are for, and that is because I got the measurements for um, the, I guess it's a battery pack, um, I'm not quite sure what it would be properly called, um, but it's a, you hook a drill battery into it, and then, um, you can plug a regular cord into it, and so that'll be where I plug in um, my black light that will go under the water, that will illuminate the water. Um, and so I got the measurements for um, what that will measure with the battery included, and so I've sectioned off um, that section. Um, uh, so it's I think it's like one brick taller than like it needs to be, but that's fine. We'll have a little bit of breathing room there. Um, but so we'll have that area there, um, which does mean that I get free rain um, with this corner, which considering it's the back corner, I think I'm probably going to put in like a cafeteria or something. Um, I also, I thought it would be kind of fun to have, 
Um, I want to build one of the complete saga like cranes. Um, I want to have one of those in the base because I think that would be kind of fun. Um, but then uh, you can see, um, and yeah, there is a bit of a glare. Um, but you can see that I've got these um, four by four pieces on the ground um, and they're not studded in because I don't really want to use those because they're not um, particularly shiny um, whereas the tile um, often is and so I want to brick build those arrow designs um, kind of like that um, but obviously I need to get more of those in white first and then I did actually run out of black so I think I need um, just like the three more black uh, ones because I've got the rest of them the rest of them are filled out um, but so I do plan on um, making a wall on this side and a wall on that side and they'll come up and then um, at this level um, over here we're gonna put the uh, massive like wide open door um, and so we'll build that um, just sort of the bay door from Star Wars um, where you've got sort of the energy going in the middle um, but we'll just have it open, um, um, so we'll build that, and then because of the fact that that will go all the way across, um, this section, and so because we have to build this section up that high, um, I'm thinking of having a smaller platform, uh, right here that we'll put, like, speeder bikes or something on, um, but I will have to figure that out. Um, what else? Um, I suppose we should talk TIE Fighters. So I saw the reception uh, to the last mock update. And it was really kind of helpful. Um, and so I went ahead and at first I tried... Um, well, so first I found a Technic piece that um, would actually work for accommodating um, the wings, the junior's wings. And uh, so I put that, um, I put that in on the side of that little um, like wheel. Um, um, so I hooked those up to it. And then I tried uh, changing or putting on the first like bit of connector um, from the interceptor set and that looks all right um but i don't know it just it isn't that great to me and especially because we'll flip it around um um like i don't know it just it didn't seem uh that great to me and especially um, let's drop down. So, especially looking at it head on, um, I don't know, for me, I just, it looks alright, but I think the wings are just slightly too far out, um, for their size, where, uh, with the fact that they are smaller wings, um, I think it looks better if they're closer together, because if you move them too far out, then their size becomes pretty apparent. Um, and so I think I settled on um, a new design. So this is sort of the design that I think I'm pretty much settled on, um, where I decided to add in um, those uh, six by six uh, dish pieces on the side. Um, as well as putting on some uh, quarter tiles 
Um, and so I think that rounds it pretty well. Um, obviously not perfect, um, but I think that works pretty well. Um, I also I updated the wings um, and finished all the wings. Um, so basically, um, right now, these pieces, um, they used to be connected with an illegal um, building technique where I had a stud right about there. And it didn't quite fit in all the way, and so oftentimes when handling these, they'd fall off, and that just wasn't great. Um, but now they rest on top of the tile, um, and they're only actually connected by one stud uh, right there. But they've got this other stud right here that holds it into place, um, as well as this sort of... Um, this modified 1x2 um, that also holds it into place and so they form this really nice angle um, that is replicated on top and bottom and because um, because I wasn't having a stud right here um, that meant that I could actually move a lot of these um, little groove uh, tiles um, or grill tiles um, inward and add a couple more um, so the design looks a lot more finished um, and so I think I actually really like the design of the wings now um, and then the uh, back side of the wings um, so let's take this one off so the back side of the wings is uh, pretty much an inverse of the front side here um, and yeah there you can really see um, all those grill tiles and stuff um, but I added on these uh, dish pieces and so those keep uh, these in place and so they're not moving anywhere and so it makes this a lot easier to um, handle which is nice um, it also makes the whole, uh, TIE Fighter a lot easier to handle, um, and so that's really good. Um, and then one small, uh, detail, I suppose, that's worth going over, um, is on the back here, um, where that... Uh, window is um, it used to just be a uh, rounded 2x2 two two tile um, but using um, some uh, I forget the one by ones with the bar um, using some of those I was able to put on a rounded uh, dish um, now this one is um, light bluish gray I need to find more uh, black ones. I know I've got them somewhere, um, but it's a very subtle difference, but I actually think having it be rounded um, looks a lot better. Um, um, I think I'm, I'm fine with keeping it black. Um, I may try to find uh, trans black or old trans black. Uh, ones if those exist I don't think they do but they might I haven't checked um, but just because of the top design um, because they use black there I think I'm fine just keeping that black um, but it's a small difference but I think it goes a long way um, and yeah I think that's really about it for this update. Um, I think between now and the next update, I've got a lot of cleaning and organizing to do. Um, so these have been coming out bi-weekly. I'm not sure if that will continue to be the case. Um, I would like it to be, uh, but I'm not, not positive on that. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, 
uh, I hope that you're looking forward to um, seeing more. And, um, oh, before I go, I suppose I should mention, um, just because I thought it was a bit of fun. Because sometimes you've got, like, spare uh, leftover pieces, right? Um, so, um, I went ahead and... I took, so I, I had a gonk droid here, uh, meant to sort of be walking over to the shuttle, and so I took the uh, BB-9E head, and I put it on top of a few pieces, uh, just to sort of make a, like, mop droid, um, just because I thought that would be a fun little detail, just to have a little... You know, obviously they've got to keep the floors clean somehow. Um, but yeah, and I added in some boxes just to try and lively up the base. Because um, I know in the show it's mostly um, like empty from what we see. Um, and that's fine, but as far as building a mock goes, I definitely want to include more like interesting things um, so like you can see um, back there as well we've got even more boxes um, I even managed to use the uh, Imperial logo sticker um, from the original Phantom 2 and uh, yeah so I thought those were neat little details um, but, uh, but yeah, so that, that actually wraps us up, um, for this update, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.